Yo, Crawl here, and this time we're gonna do a music bot. Yeah, you heard it right, we're gonna do a music bot. So, for your entertainment, I just sat down and was like, okay, we should, we should. I looked at a lot of, of, of music bot tutorials out there and I was like, ah, oh, man, you know, this is, this is too hard. Like, this needs to be more simple, right? So, we're gonna do something super, super simple. Like, it's gonna be the most simplistic thing I probably have ever done. Well, it's not that simple, but. It will not be super complicated either. If you don't know how to do Discord JS and if you don't know how to install Discord JS and all that super duper thing, watch my first video, but I'm still gonna go over it really, really quick now. So what you need to do is you need Node. So what you do is you go to nodejs.org so that we are on the same page. You download 8.4.0, you install it and you run it. Click it next a bunch of times, and then you will have access to NPM. There we go. This is NPM, right? Next thing you're going to do is you go to discordapp.com. I'm sorry. I need to type this out. I'm not prepared for that. You go to developers. You go to my apps. Click on new app. Type in a super duper name. Give it an image. Click on create new app. Create a bot account. Yes, do it. You need the token, so you reveal the token. You're going to copy the token. Then you go back to your editor. You will make a config file right here. It's called config.js. We're going to use exports.token. Put in the token right here in your string. Then we're also going to do exports.prefix, which will be a custom defined prefix we're going to use. After that, we are going to do something something super super simple you're gonna copy your client id and after that you go to i switched my screen i'm very sorry after that you go to discord.now.sh you put in your client id here click on add bot to your server it should already be selected copy the link that's down here and paste it into your address bar up top click ok add the bot to your server and then you should already see it being on the top right here after you did all of that we're basically good to go and yeah you should see a board right there where i just where i just put it and because we are good to go now we need to install discord.js so what we do is npmi discord.js you can use any discord.js version discord.js is what you should use normally you can also use hyperbolt slash discord.js and this will install master which has a lot of breaking changes so please don't do that if you don't know what you're doing you can also install 11.1 dev currently as of this video i'm not sure if it will be there in two weeks from now so please make sure that this branch exists on the github page the github page is discord.js.org and then on top right you can click on github to get to our github page and there you can see all branches we have here <clears throat> but this is all we need to talk about because this is how you get Discord.js running and now we're gonna go take a deep dive into the action. I already prepared a very tiny file here. What I'm doing is I'm creating a constant with the client require Discord.js. What this does is this is called destructuring. I will grab the client out of Discord.js, just the client instance. We don't need anything else. Then I'll do the same here. Destructure token and prefix from the config which is created and after that i create a new client variable instantiate a new client that i got out of this discord.js package i disable everyone to true this is very important because you might want to have your bot not being able to add everyone and add here after that we define a few listeners those are some very very basic listeners you should always have the warn error ready disconnect and reconnect I just put in some, some basic console logs, nothing too fancy. And this is where we're going to take a deep dive now. <clears throat> the first thing we need is client.on message. And we have a message event here. In this message event, we're going to put all of our uh, commands in because we're just going to do a one file music bot, super simple, nothing too fancy. It will do just the basic of the basic things. In the first episode, we're going to do play and stop and in the second episode we're going to do a queue system a skip a pause a resume a volume function 
and displaying the queue. And then we are basically done. This shouldn't take long, so we're just gonna start right off. The first thing you will need is npmi node opus and also YouTube DL core. This will just get you straight up started. You will need to wait and it will actually require build tools. If you don't know how to install build tools, I will not go over that topic. I will do that maybe in a separate video. If you cannot install this, there is another thing you can install, which is called Opus Script. This will mainly work in, well, it's fine to use Opus Script if you don't have a bot that's playing on multi uh, multiple servers. So how to do that is instead of using node Opus and YouTube DL Core, you're going to install Opus Script and YouTube DL Core. Obviously, you also need uh, FFmpeg running. If you don't know how to get FFmpeg installed, there's a lot of tutorials out there. Um, I'm going to not cover this, but what you can do is you can do npmi hyphen g ffmpeg hyphen binaries. And if you install it with the global flag, you will have ffmpeg. So this will help you out a lot. Now we are ready set. We already installed everything and we, we are ready to go. The first thing we need to do is we need to make some commands. First off, we're going to start off with making sure that our bot is not going to respond to itself. So we need to make sure that if the message comes from the bot, we are going to return undefined. You can also just return, it doesn't matter. It's just my ESLint configuration requires me to return a value. We are also going to make sure that if there is message content starts with <clears throat> yeah, if it doesn't start with a prefix, right, we're going to return undefined. This will make sure that our bot does not respond to itself, it doesn't respond to other bots, and this will also make sure that our bot does only respond to commands that are issued with our prefix, which is Y exclamation mark. You can do any prefix you want, it can be as long as you want, just make sure it's something you can actually type out, or other people can type out and can remember. The next thing we're going to do is we need for the whole YouTube fun, uh, thing, we need to provide a link. And this will require us to have an argument. Something very basic would be const args message dot content dot, it should be shortened, I'm very sorry, message dot content dot split. And we split by a space. So that means that if we type in y play and then do space and everything after that is gonna be one argument. The next thing we need to do is <coughs> creating the commands. So we start off, we, we do, we're just doing if else chaining because this is the most reliable way to do it and the most easy way to do it. So everyone understands what I'm doing and this will, it will still work. We don't need a handler for that and it will just, just be good. So what we need to do now here is if message.content.starts with, we're just gonna do the basic thing, prefix and play because this is the first command we wanna have we want to get the voice channel of the member. So we're going to do message.member.voice channel. This will get us the voice channel of the member that is currently sitting in a voice channel. You need to be, you need to sit in a voice channel to play music, right? If there is no voice channel, which means the member is not sitting in a voice channel, we need to return uh, a message basically saying, I'm, it's already great. I'm sorry, but you need to be in a voice channel to play music. After that, we need some permission checks. So we do const permissions equals <coughs> voice channel dot permissions for, and then we do message dot client dot user. So we get the permissions of our bot. And now we need to check if permissions that has, obviously we need to prefix this. If we don't have the permission to connect, we're going to return, return message that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> message that channel that send. And we are basically saying, uh, I cannot connect to you your 
voice channel make sure I have the proper permissions okay the next thing we need to do is if permissions dot has speak so if we do not have the ability to speak in the channel the bot we return another error message and say I cannot speak in this voice channel make sure I have 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 <laughs> the proper permissions so now that we got this out of the way we're basically already in set to go we can already start with the main logic of the whole project so to play it's as simple as uh, we need to join the boys channel first this is very important so we're gonna do try and catch here just to make sure that nothing goes wrong we do var connection equals await voice channel dot join then we do in the error handler we do a console.log actually console.error and display the error message and well maybe you could also display some some other additional message um, I could not join the voice channel and what you could also do in here is not only do that we need to return undefined down here we could also do message.channel.send actually make it a bit more efficient here and do message.channel.send and <clears throat> I'll put the error message here too so we do I could not join the voice channel this, this could potentially get rather spammy so we also do a console log so we might have a, a very very nice and clear distinction of what is actually happening the next thing we need to do is we need to make this whole thing here async so we're gonna put async in front of it so we can await this value here right otherwise await wouldn't work now after we did that we we're basically already in a voice channel so what we can do is const dispatcher because this is the return value we will get if we do connection dot play stream play stream is place any arbitrary stream we don't know what youtube dl is giving us like it could be an open stream or it could not depending on the youtube video we have and here is where our rx variable up top here comes into play so we want to do rx one one why because we want to do one because the the zero like the first value of it because we split by space the first value will be the prefix we don't need the prefix we need to, that what comes after the prefix the youtube dl right here we need to import that because we installed it so we do const youtube dl equals require youtube dl core the dispatcher we got back <clears throat> um, we're not going to do anything with that yet we're going to remove the semicolon here and we're going to attach some events to it so there is there's two ways you could do that you could just have the semicolon there do dispatcher.on and just chain it like that but we're going to do it a bit differently we're just going to do on like directly afterwards we're going to remove the semicolon here and just do a new line and do a dot so we can chain the events we do an on and event this will this could potentially give us something back but we don't we don't really care about it and what we do here is just we, we do a simple console log and do song ended and then um, we do a new line too again and we're also doing the error event we also uh, we did this time though we care about the error so we do console dot error the error just to so we know what's happening and now we close the semicolon I know it looks a bit wonky and weird but this this is a way you could do it and to start off we don't want to start off at like a hundred percent we should start off at a volume that's actually pleasing to the ears so we do dispatcher.set volume logarithmic this is all all of that is on the doc uh, on the documentation and you can find it if you go to discord.js.org click on the documentation type in at the top set volume logarithmic 
you can see right here, sets the volume to a perceived value of 0 0.5 is half the perceived volume, etc. right? This is what we're going to use. You can also use set volume decibels or set volume. Normally, it goes to two, which is double. It, one is 100%, so you can just round it up like you want. We're going to use logarithmic though. So we're going to start off with the value of five by five. And we are basically already done. This is a working play command. And yeah, pretty sure there's nothing else we need to do now. We may need to catch a case where, yeah, there's, there's maybe one case like, well, this patch at the end should leave the voice channel automatically if I remember correctly. No, it would not. We need to leave the voice channel here real quick too. So after that down here, we're just doing voice channel that leave after the dispatcher ended and played this last song. And this should already work. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to test this because I can't play any music on YouTube. So I cannot really show you guys that it's actually playing music. So this will be a bit wonky. I could look for a song, but yeah, I'm just going to use any song right here and I will just mute the portion of the of the bot or like mute the song but I will like the moment you see the the, the bot lighting up you know it's gonna work so we're gonna switch to discord we're gonna start up our bot we can see it with you can see it right here with the Yodas is ready right so we're gonna switch to discord and to check if it's working we cannot really do that so to check if it's really working we need to just execute the command and, and test something out like test and she will say, tell us i'm sorry but you need to be in a voice channel to play music so what we're going to do is we're going to join the radio voice channel as you can see right here and we are just going to do y play and then we put a youtube link at the end she will join the voice channel and play music for us. And this is already working because I can hear it. You guys cannot hear it, but this is fine. I can assure you this works 100%. So we got playing music. Now what we need to do is we're going to do a stop music command too. So we can actually stop the music because we cannot leave the channel currently without the bot, without taking down the bot. So what we're doing is now that we close this off here, we're just going to do else if, we're just going to do an else if chain, right? Just something super basic. Everyone should understand message.content that starts with prefix stop. And in here, <clears throat> what we're doing is you should maybe not do that, but what we're doing is which is calling message.member on voice channel at leaf. This is super basic. We're gonna rework all of this a bit later, but this will make sure that when you're in a voice channel, it will leave. We should maybe do something else real quick. So we should do if message.member on voice channel, right? Uh, if, if, if the message, if, if there's no voice channel, yeah. Then we're gonna return message that send I always type that out message that channel that send uh, you are not in a voice channel right so the people who are not in a voice channel cannot just stop the bot and then the button will to return undefined right so and this will this will work too because if I restart the bot now go back to discard paste in the link start it up it would won't rejoin because it didn't leave yet. It will play the music and then I can do white stop and it will just leave the voice channel. And you can see here, it printed out the song ended. So this is a working bot. This is already working. This is, has a play command. This has a, a stop command. And this is it for the first video. In the second video, we're going to do everything else. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys later.